Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro and as you know recently Google unveiled Beta 4 on Android 12 for their Pixel devices and recently the Mi 11X got a port which we covered yesterday and at almost you know a couple of hours later we got a port for our Raphael as well. That means we do have Android 12 Beta 4 working on this device and in this video we are going to see how to install it. Of course FOD is not working, of course it is a beta from Google and then it is ported to our device so there would be some bugs but that should not you know stop you from experiencing this wonderful new update and what the next version of android is going to look like but before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people with similar devices chatting about custom stuff so go ahead and join us there last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash Let's get going. Alright, so right off the bat, we're going to talk about things that we need and what precautions we need to take as well as your expectations. First of all, things that we need, well of course you need a Redmi K20 Pro or a Mi 90 Pro with an unlocked bootloader. You need to have a custom TWRP recovery installed and make sure you've backed up all the information on your phone's internal storage because the process that we are going to follow is going to involve formatting data. The number of files that we will need, we will need an AOSP ROM. In this case, we are going to use Aero OS 11 Vanilla. We will need your latest firmware for this particular device. So we're going to use the 12.5 based latest firmware for Raphael in and you can choose the one which suits you depending on your device. And last but not the least, we will need the Android 12 Beta 4 port zip which you need to flash. So all said and done, the first step for you if you're on a custom ROM or you're on a stock ROM doesn't matter. You need to first get rid of all of your security features. So just go to screen lock over here and remove all the locks that you have on your phone, right? Now the next step to do is remove MI account and remove all the Google accounts. All right, so as you can see, my MI account is signed out. Now I'm going to remove my Google account here. Remove account, remove account, right. Now I've removed everything, after that you need to reboot the device once. Alright, now once the device has rebooted, you are ready and you can follow the instructions. You can choose to copy the files that I mentioned and linked in the description to the phone's internal memory. But in our case, we always use a OTG pen drive. So I'm going to quickly connect this particular pen drive over here. Alright, so once you've copied the files or you've connected your OTG pen drive, whichever method you prepare, you need to press and hold volume up and power. Now keep it pressed till the time you see the Redmi or MI logo. There you go. All right. So we are booting into Orange Fox recovery over here. All right. Now the first thing to do here is go to wipe Dalvik cache system vendor data. We won't be wiping internal storage. This is for you guys because you might have your files in there. I can wipe it, but I'll leave it alone. And in case you are encrypted, you need to enter your lock screen password. But that is the reason I requested you to remove. Now we will begin the flashing process. So from here, I'm going to select my USB OTG, right? So the first thing to flash is the Aero OS, add to queue. Now Raphael firmware, this is the one that we are using, add to queue and Android 12S Raphael Beta 4 zip swipe to confirm flash now remember we are flashing three files over here in one go so this flash will take roughly maybe two minutes or three minutes at the most so please be patient while that happens in our case we are using a otg cable so it might take a little longer compared to the ultra fast ufs storage that these devices have so let's wait for the flashing process to complete because after that we just have one step and we should be able to boot into android 12 beta 4. now remember this is an install video it will be followed up very very soon with a you know first impressions video as to what is new in this particular update can you use it as a daily driver or not and if there is enough demand we might even go ahead and do a live stream about it to show you give show you the gaming performance of this particular rom let's wait for the flashing to complete all right so as you can look at the screen everything has been flashed including android 12 it does say welcome to android 12 but let's not rush over here let's quickly go through this install log 
from error OS to the firmware to the ROM. Okay, everything seems to be flashed fine. I don't have any errors. So now go to wipe this particular bin, go to format data and type in yes. Select the tick mark. All right. Once format data is done, click on reboot system. Now you would have noticed that the install process of beta 4 is exactly the same just like beta 3.1 so in that case you are absolutely right but because this is a new update it required a new video and that is the reason now we are making a flashing video because a lot of people had requested about the same and you do see that it has the same old dark google boot animation. Now while it boots let me also tell you that the front camera is working since beta 3.1 now the pop-up sound and stuff is also working so I'm expecting that this will have a lot of new good things which are working now. Let's wait for it to boot up and then we will quickly have a look at it. Alright so we have just booted to the setup menu it says speech services by Google keeps stopping. The same error we got on the Mi 11x so you can ignore it for now. We have so I'm pretty sure the display would be a little extra bright in the setup menu that's always the case with most of the port and custom ROMs but we'll quickly skip through the setup part I'm being told that most of the things are working and I'm going to put those things through paces so that we can go ahead and check what is working and what is not working and then maybe give you guys a review let me skip to the main screen and then we can have a quick overview all right, so just like that, we are on the home screen of Android 12 Beta 4. So the first thing that we'll do is, yeah, I mean, apart from the smoothness, let's go to about phone. It does say it's a Pixel 5 because it's a Pixel 5 port. And if you go to Android 12, you will see that the security patch is the August security patch. All the other things are here. And this time, this time the kernel is Perf kernel. I believe last time we had the Soviet star kernel, if I'm not wrong. This is the build number. And if you tap on the Android 12, you do have your Android 12 Easter egg over here. There you go. Now this particular theme, the Monet UI and everything is working as expected. The initial impressions are pretty good. The good thing is it has also detected the OTG pen drive. So as you can see over here, there is no default camera application added. So you can go ahead and add the uh, G cam and stuff like that but all those things we will cover in the complete initial impressions video for now this was a quick step-by-step -step guide of installing Android 12 beta 4 on your Redmi K20 Pro let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is Kailash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye